We've seen this idea of elbow penetration methods of getting to the kimura from side position. Um, let's understand something very important about this method of attacking. As we saw in the previous sequence, my ability to get underneath and penetrate the elbow depends upon my opponent's elbow being elevated. If the elbow comes down towards the floor, it's very, very hard to go through underneath the elbow and get to a kimura grip. This can lead to some frustrating experiences that look like this. Uh, we'll match up with the camera like so. Okay, I get to a north-south position. That's pretty easy to do. We get underneath the elbow. That's pretty easy to do. We're we'll straighten out our legs sometimes. And we're underneath to some degree like so. Okay, your opponent recognizes the danger of a kimura. He makes his arm strong and he rec recognizes that it's his left arm that I'm attacking. What I want to do is attack the left arm. Mateus recognizes this and turns to his left and pulls his elbow inside down to the floor. And that kills my ability to get underneath the arm and elevate the elbow. Remember, in order to get to my opponent's elbow and get to this position, I need his elbow high. Mateus recognizes this and just brings the elbow down, okay? So I get to north-south, I get underneath, I try to lift, he turns left, and I lose the elbow, okay? And that can be very, very frustrating. Now, as frustrating as that is, there's some good news. Understand something very simple. The more Mateus brings his left elbow down, the higher his right elbow will come. And the more Mateus defends his right elbow by bringing it down, the higher the left elbow will become. The real problem here is people have a tendency to develop tunnel vision. They say, I'm attacking the left arm, and they go in hell or high water, driving for the left arm. He brings the elbow down to the floor, and you fail. He comes back to neutral. You try again on the left elbow. He brings the left elbow to the floor, and you can see what the problem is. I'm just attacking one arm. Always understand that as Mateus takes away the left arm from me, and I'm, he turns, 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 and takes it away, he always offers me the opposite arm. Okay, so always remember the vital rule here. As one elbow goes down, the other must rise. I don't specify which elbow you go after. North, south, both of them are in front of you. All I specify is you go over, you go after the uppermost elbow. We never specify which one it is. He does. Okay, so I initiate an attack on the left arm and he defends. As he defends, he will always give you the opposite arm to penetrate. And as a result, we're in the perfect position now to take advantage of that, get the hand behind the back if possible, and then from here we bring elbow to the floor and then step forward into a strong finishing position. Okay, if we keep in mind this valuable rule, that all we need to do is create one elevated elbow. It doesn't matter which one. And always remember, if your opponent depresses one elbow, he has to elevate the other. Don't get tunnel vision. Don't think there's only one arm that you're attacking. It's not. There's two right in front of you. Anytime you're north-south, always two elbows. As you see one go down, don't get frustrated. Just switch to the other elbow. And you'll have a lot of success penetrating at the elbow to get into your Kimura locks.